Ah, Super Mario World. It's my personal favorite Mario game. You can definitely tell that by watching my intro and outro. Though, I wasn't born when it came out on the SNES, but still, it's a great game. I love its gimmicks, its style, and especially its music. Now let's get into Super Mario World. The gameplay was definitely cheerful. Also, the success of Super Mario World led to the release of the sequel, Yoshi's Island, but we'll talk about that in a future video. Speaking of Yoshi, a new concept in the Mario franchise was premiered in Super Mario World, and that concept was, well, Yoshi. If you don't know who Yoshi is, let me explain Yoshi for you. Yoshi is a friendly dinosaur in Dinosaur Land, and he has an island named after him, named, well, Yoshi's Island. Yoshi could eat enemies, breathe fire, and so much more. You also had to save other Yoshis from the Koopalings' fortresses. Speaking of the Koopalings, they were Bowser's adopted children. They had previously appeared in Super Mario Bros. 3. Their names were... <gasps> Roy, Wendy, Iggy, Lemmy, and Ludwig. <gasps> Woo! That's a mouthful. Anyways, each Koopaling had their own fortress. Also, did you know that Nintendo ported SMB3 to the Super Famicom system just to see how well the controls were for the game? Okay, now that we're done with all the important stuff, it's time for... Did you know that you can play Super Mario World on the Game Boy Advanced as well as other Mario titles? Did you know in the Game Boy game, Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins, the Mario sprite, and the Fire Flower sprite were taken from Super Mario World? So I think I've covered everything in this short little video that I wanted to. Sorry that this video was so short and that the audio sounds like it came out of a toaster or something. But anyways, thanks for watching! If you want to see more videos by me, then like, comment, and maybe even consider subscribing. See you later!